I'm gonna have to scythe. I use a scythe. Wild strawberry. Wow. To make these paths, so I want to make another path out there for you to go around the land so you could walk around. There's a gorgeous view of the mountain out that way too. Probably the most exciting project for all of us would be to create a totem pole. And I've already sent a sketch of what I've been given in my brain, a dream, a vision of which animals go on the totem pole and I'll share those stories with you. You may or may not know that totem poles, as much as people love them, they were not there for all the tribes. They're really Pacific West Coast phenomenon. Still we're going to build one because we love it so much. And every animal on the totem pole tells a part of a story. The whole totem together, every animal tells a story. And I will tell you the story of the animals and why they all represent this property when you all come out here. Another project would be to create a fire pit somewhere out here usually the southeast, which would be out that way. When I was young, perhaps one of my most favorite things was going to a particular summer camp. And this camp had two things none of the other camps had for me. First was you chose the activities you wanted to go to. So your bunk, everybody did their own thing. And for me, that was awesome. It was freedom. I could spend all my time doing the two things I love. That was baseball, softball, and horses. I spent all my time at the stables, and every year I went back, they kept putting me, giving me more responsibility. I went from a helper to a ranch, junior ranch hand, to a ranch hand, to a counselor in charge of the horses. It was the best time of my life. I was free, I was in nature, I hung out with the horses, and. When we weren't with the horses, I was playing softball. <laughs> and so I get to replicate that for you guys now. I get to give you a feeling of that joy, of that freedom, connecting with nature out here. And it's just a wonderful thing. And to add to that now, the other things that have become so important in my life are the Native American or indigenous, because it's really not just Native American, when I was in the Amazon rainforest, the shamans there told me I was a natural born shaman and healer. So those things being natural to me, it's just who I am.